Do you think that the native population of Arab countries is exclusively made up of Muslims? If yes, then you're in for a surprise. There are, in fact, a significant number of Arabs living in the Arabic world who practice Christianity. They are called Arab Christians. The simplest definition of an Arab Christian is a person who speaks Arabic dialects and belongs to one of the various Christian denominations, Eastern Orthodox, Catholic, Protestant, and others. But where did these Arab Christians come from, and what is their history? How have recent political and religious events affected the life of Arab Christians, and where do they live now? Welcome to yet another engaging and thought-provoking video, where we will be answering these questions and so much more. Join us in a journey where we investigate the origins and the eventual dispersal of the Christian community of Arabia. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Let's start by looking at the current situation. At the minute, the Middle Eastern region has the highest concentration of Arab Christians. Lebanon is home to the greatest number of Arab Christians. Egypt has a large Coptic Christians community. Third on the list are Syria and Iraq. And lastly, Jordan also has a small but a vibrant Christian community. The population of Arab Christians, however, has been gradually declining in these Middle Eastern countries as a lot of them have been moving to the West mainly the U.S. According to the Arab American Institute, 63% of Arabs living in the U.S. are Christians. The modern era has, no doubt, been a time of great change and upheaval for Arab Christians living in the Middle East. The larger political and social changes taking place have forced them to leave Middle East in search of a different life. Let's look at some of the key events that have affected them. 1. When the Ottoman Empire started the decline, in the 19th and 20th century, European powers like France, Britain, and Italy rushed to colonize the region. These conflicts had a significant impact on the lives of the Arab Christians, who then started to look for other countries to settle in. 2. The Arab-Israeli Conflict and the Establishment of the State of Israel in 1948 also led to the dispersal of Arab Christians due to the incidents caused by the issues between the Israelis and Palestinians. 3. In the mid-20th century, anti-colonial and nationalist movements in Middle Eastern countries brought political instability and many Arab Christians, caught in the crossfire of political and religious conflict, have decided to permanently move away. So, now that we know what the current situation is and how it came about, let's go back into the past and look at how Arab Christian actually came into existence in the first place. The origins of Christianity in Arabia can be traced back to the early days of the religion, when the teachings of Jesus Christ were first spread throughout the Roman Empire. The exact timings and circumstances of the introduction of Christianity to the Arabian Peninsula are not well documented, but it is believed that the religion was first brought to the region by the Arab traders and merchants who had come into contact with the faith through their travels. One of the earliest Christian theologians, Eusebius has made references to the presence of the Christian communities in several cities in the region, including Mecca and Medina, around the 4th century. The famous Jebel church was built in the 4th century as well. During this time, Christianity continued to spread throughout the peninsula and played a significant role in shaping the region's cultural and religious landscape. Arab Christians, during this time, were predominantly members of the Eastern Orthodox Church and the Nestorian Church, and had established thriving communities with their own unique traditions and practices. They kept close ties with the wider Christian world and played a key role in spreading Christianity throughout the region. Arab Christians lived alongside Jews and other religious communities. They participated in trade and commerce, and their communities were known for their scholars and theologians. Pre-Islamic era was known for its religious diversity with a mix of polytheistic and monotheistic religions. But similar to all other eras and history, some conflicts did emerge between different religions throughout this time. In the 7th century, when Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him started preaching Islam, naturally, there was some friction between Islam and the existing religions. Najran, which is a part of the modern Arabia, was predominantly Christians. But between the 7th and 10th century, lots of Christians converted to Islam or left via the trade routes to settle into Asia. Others migrated north to Jordan and Syria. 
After the fall of the Byzantine Empire, Islam has emerged as the dominant religion in the region and the Arab Christians were given the choice to either accept Islam or continue to live as a minority in the society. They were required to pay the jizya, a tax, to the ruling caliphate. Arab Christians were accepted by the Islamic rulers as Quran recognizes and acknowledges them the people of the book. The Prophet peace be upon him and the subsequent caliphs maintained healthy alliances with them. There were again instances of conflict, but this time was greatly characterized by a mix of cooperation and competition. During this time, lots of Christians accepted Islam. Despite widespread rumors of forceful conversions, the process of Islamization was slow, complex, and non-violent. Religious change was brought about by intermarriage, economic self-interest, and political allegiance. A large quantity converted due to favorable treatment from the Muslim conquerors. In other cases, Arab Christians voluntarily converted to Islam as they were attracted to its teaching and found that the religion spoke to them in a meaningful way. In conclusion, the history of Arab Christians is a rich and complex tapestry woven from centuries of cultural, political, and religious influences. Despite facing challenges like discrimination and marginalization, Arab Christians have remained an integral part of the fabric of the Arab world and continue to make significant contributions to the landscape. Throughout history, Arab Christians have faced various challenges including political and religious persecution as well as economic and social discrimination. Nevertheless, the Arab Christian communities have survived and continue to play a vital role in the cultural and religious fabric of the Arab world. As we wrap up today's video, let us know in the comments below what you think the future will hold for the Arab Christian community. Do you think they'll continue to play a vital role in the Arab world or will they be marginalized and forgotten? Time will tell, but one thing is for sure, that the story of the Arab Christians is a story worth telling and a legacy worth preserving. May Allah guide us all towards the truth.